my dear brothers and sisters, our gospel reading today is about Jesus reminding us to choose the narrow road. To choose the narrow gate. To choose the narrow way. I think, my dear brothers and sisters, we can interpret this challenge of our Lord Jesus Christ not just in terms of choosing the correct and the right way to choose the narrow road or the narrow way is also to learn how to give way. Yung pagpili natin minsan nung mas maliit na daan natututo kang magbigay daan sa iba. Do we still know how to give way to others? Or is it always about my way? I want always the bigger road, the bigger way. But Jesus challenges us today to choose the smaller way so that you could learn also to make way for others. That is what Abraham did in our first reading today. When he and his cousin Lot was choosing where to go, Abraham told him, you choose where you want to go and I will choose the other way. So, Lot chose the better way, the better place, the bigger place, the more fruitful place where the Jordan River freely flows. And Abraham humbly said, Okay, I will choose the smaller place for me. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, there is wisdom in giving way to others. There is happiness if you see others succeed, even if you choose the smaller way, the narrower way. And later on, God also blessed Abraham. If you learn how to give way to others, God also will make way for you. Some people are asking me, Father, why are you not anymore celebrating the weekday masses at the Manila Cathedral? Sabi ko sa kanila, I'm not anymore the vice rector. No? I am only an attached priest here in the Manila Cathedral. No? But I will admit to you, there is always a temptation in me since I have been vice rector here for eight years there is always a temptation for me not to give way. <laughs> no, na makialam pa rin, no? Si Father Viel po, yung ating vice rector, is a five-month-old priest. I was in my last year in the seminary. He was just beginning in the seminary. In fact, I was, uh, I was his professor in fundamental theology. So there is a temptation for me to always think that I know better. I have been here for eight years. I know better. There is a temptation not to give way. That is why I have not been coming down so that I would learn to give way and to make way for others. Even if I think I know better, there is always wisdom in learning to give way and to make way for others. That is the challenge of Jesus in choosing the narrow road. My dear brothers and sisters, let us 
go to our mother of perpetual help today to learn from her humble way, our mother who always chose to be small so that she could have a bigger space in her heart for us, for others. Amen. <laughs>